So depending upon what type of engine you have, that may dictate the type of control you buy, but it might also dictate the type of neutral safety switch that is included with the control or that you buy independently. And Uflex offers two different neutral safety switches. This one right here is the X50 neutral safety switch. This one right here is the X12 neutral safety switch. And they both perform the same vital feature of not allowing you to start the boat while the boat's in gear, which is very important. But they offer something a little unique as well. The X50 neutral safety switch is intended for Merc Cruisers and Volvo Penta stern drives where you don't want to over trim the drive while the boat's in gear. That can cause a lot of damage to the stern drive and you don't want to do that. So what it does is it'll allow you to trim the engine as much as you'd like while you're operating the boat, but it'll only allow you to trailer it when the engine is not operating and that's, that makes a big difference. The X12, by contrast, which is really intended for almost all other engines, including all outboards, is a, con is a neutral safety switch that prevents in-gear starting, but allows you to trim the full range of the engine, regardless of whether you're in forward, neutral, or reverse. Okay, so the next step is installing the neutral safety switches. Andrea, can you walk us through that process? Sure. So, the X12 is the most, uh, the simplest, uh neutral safety switch you can install. It's um, Installing a neutral safety switch is a requirement from a BYC uh, to get your boat compliant to a BYC and safety regulations. So the X12 comes with a hardware, a screw, and a lock nut, and a washer. And uh, if we take the control from the back side of it, we there's a slot where, where we can introduce the plunger inside and align the holes on the plate to make sure that we can fix it with the hardware supply. So from the wiring point of view, we supply the X12 with the wires already uh, pre-fitted with fittings on one side, a yellow and a red. So one side goes to the starter of the, on the engine and the other side goes to the ignition on the key or on the dashboard so the switch will prevent in gear starting of the engine so the engine will be able you will be able to crank the engine only when you're in neutral position we will show you how to install the x50 neutral safety switch on the control so this is the switch we want to connect the prongs prior to installing the switch on the mechanism so the yellow wires will go to the standard neutral safety switch function. So one wire will go to the engine starter and the other yellow wire will go to the ignition key. And they are on, on the external prongs. The inner wires uh, will be for the tilting and trimming function. Now we can install the mechanism in the slot. And place the and lock it in place with the hardware. We will have to put lock nuts on the other side to fix the the X50 definitely in place. Um, so now the connection of the wires. The purple wire is the trim up wire. So in the mercury harness is the same color, it's a purple wire. So you can splice this purple wire in the mercury harness with the trim up uh, wire which is purple and splice it with it and in a two way so that one way will go to the switch in the inner prong, one way will connect to the trim up wire which is the white wire on the handle that we supply with the control and the third way will go down to the pump, to the trim pump on the, on the boat. The blue wire, it's the uh, tilt up or, or a trailer function wire. So this will connect to the blue wire on the mercury harness going to the pump. So that when the control is in neutral, the contact is closed and the circuit will allow to, to tilt up the unit on the transom by using the up 
button on the trim on the lever. For information on this product or any of the other fine products from Uflex, feel free to reach out to us at www.uflexusa.com or to our technical service team at 941-351-2628. Thanks and have a great day.